Hello everyone. 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 and stereo head unit Time to do some soldering. I'm not going to be using piquant. I'm not going to be using these two. And now all we have to do is plug these in, ground it, wire to the reverse light, and then for the parking brake, all it needs is a ground. So what happens when you plug it into a parking brake is when you don't have the parking brake on, you can't watch any video. But if you always ground it, it will enable you to watch videos while driving.
and we're gonna take a look at the rear wheel camera so it's pretty simple power and video camera and looks like there is an extra wire for the reverse light so we're gonna connect this to the reverse light that will give the power to this side right here and we're gonna connect this side to the reverse wire here this will signal the head unit that we are reversing and it will turn on the camera and there you have it And that is parking brake connected to ground. I'm not gonna be plugging in this jack. This one won't be plugging in anywhere. I got these two plug in and then there is a ground. I'm just gonna put it right here. I'm gonna have to trim it off a little bit on the sides here. We have a GPS antenna. I'm gonna put it up here. I'm gonna put the wires inside here. Run it all around. Down there, go inside and then come out here. And the last wire that we have to deal with is the reverse wire which will come from the rear wheel camera. 
After that, we'll plug everything, put everything back. And let's wire the rear view camera. And the reverse light is here.
And now we're gonna do some programming. Right now it is SWC1. We want it to be SWC2. The first button that I'm gonna program is the mode button and then press the mode button on the steering wheel. This button and this button have the same signal. Which is good enough. And there you have it guys. I hope you guys enjoy it and find this helpful. Thank you and have a nice day. สวัสดีครับ.